Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osama here. And in today's video, we'll be learning how to use custom fields. Now we'll talk about the different types of custom fields, how to use them in your surveys, forms, or automations, as well as the difference between the contact custom fields and the opportunity custom fields. So let's dive into my screen right here and go through it together. All right, so I'm in my Go High Level sub account. The first thing you have to do is head over to settings, scroll a bit down, and then click on custom fields. Now, right off the bat, you'll be able to see all the custom fields that exist in your sub account, as well as the folders or groups that exist. And then you can also see the deleted fields. If you have deleted any, you can also restore them. Now, before we start creating custom fields, I want to explain why we need them and why these can be helpful. So let's take an example of a contact right here. Now, when you open a conversation or a contact in your Go Highlight account, you see some of these fields right here, which is like first name, last name, email, phone. Now, these are the system set custom fields which exists for any given contact. Now, these are the same for everyone, but as you know, we all run or work with different kinds of businesses where we might need some more information or custom information in order to qualify the leads. So let's take a use case of real estate. Now, as you can see, we're asking for some basic contact information. Let's say we want to ask what type of a lead this is. Are they a seller or are they a buyer? Are they selling a condo or are they selling an apartment? What type of property are they buying or selling? So if you need to add those questions in, what we can do is head over to custom fields, click on add field right here. Now it will give you an option to choose what kind of input you want. I'm going to go with radio select for now. Then under object, we're going to select contact. I will talk more about the opportunity thing later on. And then under the group, you can add them under contact. These are the groups, basically what you see right here. So once you're talking to a lead, you can see different types of groups. If you want to add a custom group, you can easily add that under custom fields. I'll show you how to do that as well. For now, we're going to add it under contact and then we are going to give it options here. So lead type, we can say buyer or a seller. Then I'm going to hit save and then we're going to add another one. And this time I'll choose the drop down single type. For this one, I'm going to say, what type of property do you have? Add it under contact for now. And then I'm going to add in these three options and then hit save. Now, once you scroll down, you'll be able to find these right here. So let's organize them in a better way and I'll show you how to do that. So for this, we have to add a folder and you can call it real estate qualification or something that suits you better. And then I'm going to hit save. And then if I go back to the custom fields, I'm going to choose the lead type and this question that we added, choose a bulk action and move it to the group, which is real estate qualification. Now, if you create the group beforehand, again, this will save you time and then you can choose the group right at the time where you're creating the custom field. So now if I head over to contacts, you will see that we have this new group or a folder now. And under that, you will be able to see the two custom fields that we added. Now there's two ways on how you can fill this information. One is that you're on call with the lead and you want to manually fill this in. You can easily do that, or you can do that in the forms or surveys. And if you want to do that, you will have to click on a new element, then click on custom fields, and then you'll find your custom fields right here. So all you have to do really is drag them in. If you want to override the placeholders or the labels, you can easily do that. And now when somebody fills in the form, the information that we have here will be filled out. And then for each individual contact, you can see what they have selected. And based on the information they select, you can also create automations on top of it. So let's say you want to create a workflow where you want to notify your sales team that this is the type of lead that has come in, either it's a buyer or a seller, what is the type of property they have and all that information. So what you can do is send them an internal notification you can choose the type email or SMS. And then under the message, you can say, hey, and then say their assigned user's name. We have a new lead and then add in the customers or the leads full name. And then you can say type of lead. And here you can actually add the new custom fields that you just created. So in order to do that, you'll have to click on contact, head over down, and then under custom fields, you'll find the lead type. So this is the exact custom field that we just created a little while ago. And then you can also type in the type of property they have. And again, we'll select this. And then you can select what type of property do you have, the one that we just created. So this will actually send out information to your sales team and it will help them qualify this person better and know more about the lead so they can get on top of it. So this was about the contact custom fields, but there is one more type of custom field, which is the opportunity custom fields. And the only difference between that is that the contact custom field is only associated with the contact itself. You can use them in the forms of survey or you can use them under the contact like I showed you. But for the opportunity ones, so if you head over to the opportunities, let's take an example. I have this lead right here. I'll open the opportunity and then you will see that we have some predefined fields here like opportunity name, what is the pipeline they're under, what is the status, what is the value. 
So let's say you want to add a custom field here that is only associated with the opportunity. In the example of real estate, it could be how soon this person is ready to sell or buy. Information that helps a user right within the opportunity window. So if you only want to add an opportunity custom field, we could add this right here. And the way we do that is pretty similar. There's only one difference that we have to make. So let's see how we do that. Head over to settings, then custom fields. Then I'm going to add a fields, choose drop down single. And then here I'm going to say, how soon are you ready to buy or sell? And then under the object, this is where we select opportunity. So this is the only difference you have to make when doing the configuration. And once you select opportunity, you can add into opportunity details. And then you can say, you know, one month or uh, three to six months, 12 months or 12 plus months, something like that. And then just hit save. Now, once we head back to the opportunities and open this lead again, you will see that we now have this custom field added here. So how soon are you ready to buy or sell? And this will only appear under opportunities and not under the contact like we saw in the case of contact custom fields. And in some cases, it might be really useful because when your sales team is qualifying leads and going through filling out all these details, some information here might help them see that in a better way. So this is the only difference between the opportunity custom fields and the contact custom fields. All right, so that was all about the opportunity custom fields as well. We saw the basic difference between the two types of custom fields we have. You can make use of these to collect custom information about the leads related to your business and then create automations on top of it if you need to. That was about this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please drop in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.